We recording? Hey, it's Matt, Hit Records Community Director. So we've been working on this project called Historical Perspectives for our television show Hit Record on TV. In this project, we're going to be exploring how students all over the world are taught differently about historical events based on their country's textbooks. And the historical event that we want to focus on getting international perspectives on is Pearl Harbor. We got this really interesting video testimonial from a member of our community called Yoshika. Her textbook is from Japan, and we want to highlight two specific points that she brings up in her video. The first point is regarding the events that led up to the bombing of Pearl Harbor. The Japanese government started negotiation with the United States in April of 1941. The United States demanded Japan to withdraw their forces from Manchuria, China, and Indochina. The Japanese army already decided that uh, if negotiation did not work, they will go ahead and attack the United States. And the second point is about whether or not the bombing was a surprise attack. The leaders of the Japanese forces sent an order to the ambassador in Washington, D.C. to prepare a warning of attack. But there is a problem, uh, especially in translation, that could not get approval, and it was delayed. This delay was not communicated, so our leaders there thought that the declaration was delivered at the specified time and then launched the attack. And those points that Yoshika mentions about the message never coming through to America is super interesting. I went to school in Massachusetts, and I can tell you that we never learned that about Pearl Harbor. What about you? Did you learn Pearl Harbor the same way Yoshika learned it? Or does your textbook have something completely different to say? So, here's how you can contribute. Go to your school or local library and check out a history textbook that includes some sort of section on Pearl Harbor. And then read that section. Then get out your camera. The first thing we need you to do in your video is to state the name of your textbook and then hold it up in the frame, just like this. And then paraphrase what your textbook says about these two specific points. What was the pre-war relationship like between the United States and Japan? And how did their conflict escalate into the bombing of Pearl Harbor? How does your textbook describe the bombing? Does your textbook describe it as a surprise attack? Or does it mention the miscommunication that Yoshika talked about in her video? After you covered those two points, we definitely want to hear your thoughts on why you think that your textbook presents Pearl Harbor the way it does. And contributing your video is really easy. Go to the link below. Once you're there, click the big green contribute button. Follow some quick, easy steps, and then your video will be added to our website. All right, so go grab a textbook, grab a camera, contribute to this collaboration. Thanks.